people with low vision may have difficulty walking from one place to another. Sighted Guide is a set of techniques for an individual to safely lead someone with visual impairment. During Sighted Guide, the person being assisted will hold onto the leader's arm and follow the leader. Some benefits of Sighted Guide include increased safety for the person being led as the leader walks in front and encounters the hazard first. The person being led can learn to read the leader's movement and has greater control than being pulled along. Making contact and grip The leader assumes that the person with low vision needs help, grabs the person's hand without asking, and starts pulling the person to walk. Do not assume that someone with low vision needs help. The leader asks the person first if help is needed. To make contact, the leader touches the back of a hand against the hand of the person with low vision. The person being led holds the leader's arm slightly above the elbow and positions herself half a step behind and slightly to the side of the leader. Passing through doorway The leader does not inform the person being led that she is passing through a doorway, resulting in a collision. The leader indicates if the door is on the right or left once opened and whether it is a push or pull door. It is better for the person being led to be on the hinge side of the door. To transfer side, the person being led places her free right hand on the leader's shoulder and slides it to the leader's left elbow. The leader opens the door first and hands it to the person being led to keep the door open. Narrow space the leader does not inform the person being led that there is a narrow space ahead, resulting in a collision. The leader informs the person being led that there is a narrow space ahead. The leader positions her arm behind her back to cue the person to walk directly behind the leader. To avoid stepping on the leader, the person being led slides her grip down to the leader's wrist. This allows a few more inches of clearance between them. Seating The leader leads the person near the chairs but walks off without any instructions. The leader informs the person being led whether she's approaching a chair from the front or back and indicates if the chair has arms or backrest. The leader places her hand at the back of the chair and the person being led slides her hand down to feel for the chair. Staircase ascending The leader does not inform the person being led that there are stairs resulting in her tripping over. The leader informs the person being led that the steps are going up. The leader guides the person being led to toe up to the steps and hold on to the stair railing. The leader starts walking up and is one step ahead of the person being led. The leader reaches the top of the stairs first and pauses to wait for the person being led. Staircase descending The leader does not inform the person being led to toe up and does not guide the person to hold on to the railing. The leader does not wait for the person being led to reach the bottom of the stairs, resulting in a near fall. The leader guides the person being led to toe up to the steps and hold on to the railing. The leader starts walking down 
and is one step ahead of the person being led. The leader reaches the bottom of the stairs first and waits for her to catch up before moving off. Crossing curb, step up. The leader informs the person that they are approaching a step up curb. They tow up to the curb and the leader starts crossing first. Crossing curb, step down. The leader informs the person that they are approaching a step down curb. They tow up to the curb and the leader starts crossing first.